Hi, maybe it's time now to take a look at our system. So as you can see, we've done already some of the elements. Yeah, that's that's a virtual box for you. It doesn't understand here what's happening here with this making it bigger and, and smaller. So I'm gonna restart blank. That's maybe the nicest way to do it. And then, so this is your system. This is what it looks now. Um, we've changed the conky to Areola conky. We've changed the theme. And maybe next up um, would be, well, figuring out how to navigate, figuring out where the applications are, figuring out how to set this open box. So right mouse click anywhere gives us a little menu. Let's go over all the parts that are installed now. So these are the things that the software, so that can be anything, we're gonna install more software later on. So this is natively installed out of uh, the installation of Antergos. But the thing is, we need to go to the more configuration kind of programs. So we can go to TIN2 which is this part up here. So we have a toolbar, we could have XFCE4-panel as well, which is also very nice up here, but this is tint they've chosen. And then we have here the preferences. This is technical, this is interesting. The open box configuration manager, the plan configuration, we know what it is, the panel manager, and then these are just the way to navigate, go to places, go to recent files. And here we have also something interesting. Edit auto start, so the open box configuration, the GUI, graphic user interface, menu editor, graphic user interface configuration tool, key editor, reconfigure, restart, take a screenshot. Again, the TIN2, so this thing up here. Uh, screen resolution that might be wrong and setting a wallpaper. Let's first go to this one, open box configuration, edit auto start. We've been there already. We've seen another tutorial that we've added here a variety to this and the conky was a conky from uh, Antagos and we've taken our own conky. Just type conky and then it works. So if we've been here, maybe it's also a good thing to open and navigate to now we seem to have lost something here. So I wanted to have this one here as well, open box. This one is the same as that one. You concur. So navigating to the dot config open box and you have auto start. It's the same as the menu here. What's this? GUI menu editor. This is the open box 3.5 menu. What's this? Take a look. Applications, places, recent files, preferences, exit. So we can edit this little menu we have here and we can go over all the elements and we can make elements manually or we can use it. We can use a program, let's say, and a pipe menu is going to check out whether um, in a specific place what applications have been installed usually it's the user share applications everything is in there and it's going to automatically make a menu so if you install something new then it's going to be in there because every right mouse click is running a program is looking and is creating this menu so that's that you can go further and further in detail open mouse pad etc etc we're gonna change all that so I'm not gonna go into this but here it is you can go and change it as well here GUI configuration tool uh -huh. finally we can change our themes but then of course you should install some themes so okay um, whether we want to change or not it's up to you for desktops I can change this right now immediately I just want one desktop and the dock is at the bottom right horizontal close 
So that was this one here. Key editor is quite interesting, but I've done hours of work and I've added all my keyboard shortcuts inside of this little program here. Op key, so open box key. And this is where you can add extra icons, uh, sorry, extra keyboard shortcuts. So I will be copy pasting my keyboard shortcuts later on. Where are these keyboard shortcuts? They are in here, rc.xml. I wonder what it will open, probably Firefox. Yep, not useful. Right mouse click, open with. Mouse pad will be much better. No software yet installed, otherwise I would take sublime text. So, double clicking, you will find, for instance, here, Audacious T, XF86 Audio Play. So, execute stuff, send to desktop. So, all the shortcut keys are in here. It's an XML file, and it's this is the GUI or the graphical user interface to change this. Then, reconfigure to re-change everything, to re-write everything, but nothing will be changed here in this respect. Not sure what it does, but once you get stuck, you can do that and restart is open box that flashes a little bit. And if you have any uh, things changed, then it will be applied. And then we are at the screenshot. So, okay, take a picture. That's that. We have a picture now. Houston, we have a picture. And then TIN2 configuration. So it's a little file. This file has a specific place, of course. It's in TIN2, so we can put this one here. This file is the same one as that file. So we have a menu straight to a file in here. That's all it is. And a tint wizard, which is quite nice, but no such file or directory. I suppose we have not installed the tint wizard. That's maybe a thing to take a look at. So if we have sudo pacman minus s tint and we type tint2, let's see what happens. Oh, everything stays the same, it says. It's just reinstalling it. And I'm wondering what happened in the other distro since it was possible there to have something extra, a configuration program. Uh, the memory clock is not on. We have to fix that as well. So I have um, a keyboard that has a numeric pad on the right and that's not fixed, that's not, that's not working. It's all in my configuration files but not yet here. So. Packer is not installed. Let's do that first. I want to have my Packer. No, you can work with Yaourt, Eric. I know you can. There you go. And different tint tools. So you can get your themes. But it's out of date, it says. And this is a tint 3, which is an attempt to get a better one. Hmm. I'll get back to you about that. There must be a configuration uh, and somewhere naming, I don't know, the name was again. Figure it out and show you why and how we can access this tint wizard. Input device properties, the mouse and the keyboard. Screen resolution, view 148, layout, outputs resolutions that are possible, orientation will not change it, key bindings and so on. Fine, don't have to set those right. User interface settings, custom look and feel, so it's another, another way to change elements. Yeah. Apply, 
as you see let's take this one that's an ugly one it's not applied immediately here in the plank but it's applied here and um, let's get back to something more beautiful the mouse course cursor i need to install my um, breeze snow cursor the window bar the board of this one uh, we need to install an arc team a specific arc team to be able to do that and so on so still a lot of things to do regarding customization but that's the fun of it and then last but not least the wallpaper which is actually nitrogen so you can set the wallpaper here as well like so but as you know we have the wallpaper from variety that we prefer so that's that went over that as well so this we shown everything that's yeah i've shown you everything here and we could also check out here a render is a specific thing also for layout it's the same i guess than the other one it's another name and then what did i not show you so uh, what's paranoid i've never clicked on it nothing happens i'm a bit paranoid now so we could go into detail so if you say what's happening now nothing not nothing is shown you go to the open box 3.5 to the applications to the why it's a pipe program that's right it's not here in preferences no it's in application so it's piped let's see if we can figure it out and then stop the tutorial here paranoid.py is a program blah 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 from first of all must be number the string i don't know what it does but it's a pi program a python program so there you have it we have seen several open box um, elements uh, things to change open box and to set it right and we're going to next time we're going to customize our system to make it more beautiful